Welcome back to my channel. This is my fourth video of Chapter 1 Real Numbers Mathematics Standard 10 NCRT Textbook. In previous videos, we discussed about the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. And in this video, we discuss one of the main application of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. One of the important application of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic is to prove the irrationality of many numbers such as root 2, root 3, root 5, etc. root p where p is a prime. Before going to the proof, we can see what is rational numbers and the irrational numbers. Real numbers can further be categorized into rational numbers and the irrational numbers. Rational numbers are those numbers that can be expressed in the form p by q where p and q are integers and a q not equal to 0. For example, all the integers 1, 2, 3, etc. See, 1 can be expressed as 1 by 1, 2, 2 by 1, 3, 3 by 1, etc. Also, 1 by 2, 2 by 3, 3 by 2, 7 by 2. 11 by 13 etc all are rational numbers and irrational numbers are those numbers that cannot be expressed in the form p by q with the q not equal to 0 p and q are integers example root 2 root 3 root 5 pi root 2 by root 3 0 0 etc before going to the proof of root 2 is irrational, we can see a theorem. Theorem states that let p be a prime number. If p divides a square, then p divides a where a is a prime. That is for any prime p, if p divides a square, then p divides a where a is a positive integer. We can see the proof. Let a be any positive integer. Then, by fundamental theorem of arithmetic, we can say that a can be written as the product of primes. Say a equal to p1 into p2 into etc. into pn. This p1, p2, etc. pn need not be distinct. For example, we can say a equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into or 5 into etc like that here p1 equal to p2 equal to 2 that is p1 p2 etc pn need not be distinct in the prime factorization now see if a equal to p1 into p2 into etc into pn a square will be a into a which is equal to p1 into p2 into etc into pn into p1 into p2 into etc into pn now we have given that p divides a square. p divides a square. And uh, p is a prime. What is uniqueness of fundamental theorem? Uniqueness of fundamental theorem says that uh, the prime factorization is unique. That is, the only primes involved in the factorization of a square are p1, p2, etc., pn. Here says that a p divides a square. Therefore, this p will be equal to some p1, p2, etc. p n. That is, p will be 1 of p1, p2, etc. p n. Now, see a equal to p1 into p2 into etc. p n. That is, p will be some p1, p2, etc. p n. Implies p divides a square. Since a equal to p1 into etc, p1 into p2 into etc into pn and p is 1 of p1, p2 etc, pn, we get p divides a. Hence the proof. Hence we get if p divides a square, then p divides a. I will write the proof in detail and explain. Proof. Let a equal to p1 into p2 into etc into pn, where p1, p2, etc, pn are primes, not necessarily distinct. Therefore, a square is equal to 
P1 into P2 into etc. into Pn into P1 into P2 into etc. into Pn. Given P divides A square. But by uniqueness of fundamental theorem of arithmetic, the only prime factors in the factorization of A square are P1, P2, etc. Pn. So P is 1 of P1, P2, etc. Pn. Since A equal to P1 into P2 into etc. into Pn, P divides A. We need this theorem and the proof of root 2 is irrational. If P is a prime number and a P divides A square, then P divides A. Theorem root 2 is irrational. What is irrational? Irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be expressed in the form P by Q, where P and Q are integers Q not equal to 0. To prove root 2 is irrational, First, we are assuming the contrary. That is, we are assuming the false statement that uh, root 2 is rational. We assume root 2 is rational. And moving forward by this assumption, at some point, we will see some contradiction to some of the facts or result. We will see a contradiction to some of the result or fact. Then we can uh, conclude that uh, that uh, contradiction was due to our false assumption and uh, hence root 2 is irrational. We can see the proof. First, we assuming the contrary that uh, root 2 is irrational. We have to prove root 2 is irrational, but we are assuming that uh, root 2 is irrational, contrary to this statement. What is a rational number? Rational numbers are numbers that can be expressed in the form P by Q, where P and Q are integers Q not equal to 0. Since root 2 is rational, we can express root 2 in the form root 2 is equal to some R by S, where R and S are integers and S not equal to 0. Suppose this R and S has some common factor, then we can divide R and S by that common factor to get relatively prime numbers or co-primes. See, uh, we can write a 6 by 7 as 12 by 14, 18 by 21, etc. Here, 12 and 14 has common factor 2. Here, 18 and 21 has common factor 3. So, uh, here we can divide it by 2 to get 6 by 7. Here we can divide it by 3 to get a 6 by 7. Here C6 and 7, the only common factor is 1. Or HCF is equal to 1. This is called a co-primes. The uh, two numbers are said to be co-primes if their HCF is equal to 1. So we take co-primes here. Then root 2 is equal to A by B with the A and B are co-primes. Or we can say HCF of AB is equal to 1. Okay, note this. Now, by taking B to the side, we get B into root 2 is equal to A. Squaring on both sides, we get b square into root 2 square is equal to 2 into b square. 2 into b square is equal to a square. That is, a square is equal to 2 into b square. Or we can say 2 divides a square. a square is written as product of 2 and some other number. Therefore, 2 divides a square. C, 2 is a prime and 2 divides a square. What was the previous theorem? If P is a prime and P divides A square, then P divides A. Therefore, by previous theorem, we can say that 2 divides A by previous theorem. You have to state this theorem here. Now, 2 divides A means A can be expressed as 2 into some number. That is, A equal to 2 into C. For some integer c. We can substitute this a in this equation. Then it will become then 2b square is equal to 
instead of a we can write 2c 2c the whole square is equal to 4c square here 2 is a common we can divide it by 2 so implies b square is equal to 2c square again we get b square is equal to 2c square that is 2 divides b square implies 2 divides b square Again, by previous theorem, we can say that uh, 2 divides b. Now, see, here we get 2 divides a and here we get 2 divides b. That is, 2 divides both a and b or 2 is a common factor of a and b. But what was a and b? a and b are co-primes. That is, the only common factor is 1. Hence, we get a contradiction. This contradiction is due to our false assumption. Hence, our assumption was wrong. Therefore, root 2 is irrational. We can see the proof in detail. Proof. Let us assume to the contrary that root 2 is rational. If root 2 is rational, we can express it in the form R by S. See? So, we can find integers r and s with the s not equal to 0 such that root 2 is equal to r by s. Suppose r and s have a common factor other than 1. Then we can divide by the common factor to get root 2 is equal to a by b where a and b are co-primes or relatively primes or hcf is equal to 1. hcf of a and b is equal to 1. Root 2 equal to a by b. Taking b to the side, we get b into root 2 is equal to a. Now, squaring on both sides, we get b square into root 2 square is 2. And rearranging, we get 2 b square is equal to a square. 2 b square is equal to a square means 2 divides a square. Or 2 is a factor of a square. We get 2 divides a square. Now, by previous theorem, 2 divides a. You have to state this theorem here. 2 divides a. Or we can write a is equal to 2 into c for some c. So, we can write a equal to 2 into c for some integer c. Substitute this a in our equation. 2b square is equal to a square. Then we get 2b square is equal to a square. Instead of a, we substitute 2c. Substituting for a, we get 2b square is equal to, instead of a square, 2c the whole square is equal to 4c square, which is equal to b square is equal to 2c square b square is equal to 2c square means 2 divides b square. This means that 2 divides b square. So, again by above theorem, 2 divides b square means 2 divides b. 2 divides b. So, we get 2 divides a and 2 divides b. That is, 2 a and b have at least 2 as a common factor. Therefore, a and b have at least 2 as a common factor. But this is a contradiction. We take A and B such that uh, they are only common factors 1. But this contradicts the fact that A and B have no common factors other than 1. This contradiction arises because of our incorrect assumption that uh, root 2 is rational. So we conclude that uh, root 2 is irrational. So we conclude that root 2 is irrational. Hence the proof. Similarly, we can prove root 3, root 5, etc. are irrational. We can discuss the proof for irrationality of root 3 and root 5 in the next video. We can also discuss some more examples and exercises. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.